This is the healthy community we live in. Our healthy community provides everyone clean water to drink, access to nutritious food, and opportunities to be active and play. Toyabi Indian Health Project, in partnership with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, has joined efforts with local and regional organizations and Native American communities to build our healthy community. Through partnership, collaboration, and strategic planning, we make our community a healthy and vibrant place to live and play. Our drinking water is clean and pure, coming from the melting snowpack off of the Sierra Nevada mountains. Getting enough water every day is important for your health. Drinking too many sugary beverages causes obesity and other problems like tooth decay. To encourage drinking water, we work to install water bottle filling stations in our communities. With the Team Inyo for Healthy Kids Coalition, the first water fountain was installed in downtown Bishop, where students pass by during their open campus lunch and families can stop for a drink on their way to the library or shopping. Eight more water stations were installed at places throughout our community, including the Lone Pine Tribal Ball Field, the Paiute Shoshone Cultural Museum, Big Pine High School, and Big Pine Tribal Farmers Market and Basketball Court. Our water stations make drinking water available so we can drink water instead of sugary beverages. In our healthy community, we believe everyone should have access to healthy food. We work with the Paiute and Shoshone tribes to support each of their community gardens by providing staffing needs, communication and gardening resources, and policy to further their food missions. Community gardens in any form can be pivotal places for community engagement, collaboration, and fun. Kids of all ages enjoy the fresh air and excitement of growing food for their families and friends. Many of our community gardens are a place to have conversation around the history of food in our cultures and tell stories about family ties to growing food to share with one another. And these gardens aren't just growing modern fruits and vegetables either. Garden visitors have the opportunity to learn and taste traditional foods such as Nahavita while in Big Pine, Taboos and Chia while visiting the Bishop Paiute tribe, and Mesquite in the Timbisha Shoshone village of Death Valley. Sharing in the traditional foods of the region strengthens our ties to our ancestors and is a great way to talk about how the food we eat can make us healthier. We know that Native American communities have high rates of chronic illness like diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Eating a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables is a proven way to avoid or combat these diseases. We are building a healthy culture around our food systems again, bringing families and the larger community together around growing and talking about traditional foods and how they were medicine for the people. Our healthy community includes making gardens a central part of our early childhood learning. Students learn how the foods we grow become the healthy food we eat through hands-on growing in the garden and in the school cafeteria. We have partnered with both Inyo and Mono County Schools and the Bishop Indian Head Start Preschool to establish classroom gardens. In Inyo County, students in grades K-2 to learn to plant and care for their gardens and enjoy in the bounty of their harvest with special snack times and lunches featuring their garden harvest. In Mono County, the schools don't have enough growing season for outdoor gardens, so we have brought gardening inside. Vertical indoor gardens in Bridgeport, Colville, and Lee Vining Elementary Schools provide a great lesson in technology and gardening as well as an opportunity to have fresh veggies in the middle of winter. Bishop Indian Head Start expanded their garden space with additional raised beds and orchard trees, allowing them to locally source their own food for snacks and meals and provide time for student learning in the garden. Our work doesn't stop with healthy snacks at school. We also work to encourage children to be active every day. Providing opportunities to be active during and after school can greatly increase the amount of physical activity a child gets in a day. The Bishop Indian Head Start program expanded their outdoor play area, creating a large grassy field with playground equipment. Now their students have more opportunities to run, play, and participate in organized games. Our healthy community also provides opportunities for all children and adults to be active after school and on the weekend. Regular physical activity is one of the most important things you can do for your health, and walking is a great place to start, as everyone enjoys going on a walk. Partnering with the Bishop Indian Education Center, 
we hosted the annual Walk to School event in October. Walking to school with your friends and neighbors makes physical activity a fun activity. Paths for walking can also be used to ride bikes. The Bridgeport Indian Colony designed and built a one-mile path through their reservation, winding through the sagebrush and out to a scenic vista with views of the mountains. You can check out a bike from the tribe and take it for a spin on the trails. Local tribes are also providing more spaces for physical activity to meet up and have unstructured playtime. The Big Pine Paiute Tribe installed a basketball hoop in their tribal office parking lot so kids and adults could gather and play after hours and on the weekend. The Lone Pine Paiute Shoshone Reservation improved their ball field, transforming it from a gravel lot to a grassy field, making it a safe and attractive place to play and have ball games. Physical activity can be increased inside too. Our area is often cold in the winter and hot in the summer. So working out inside can sometimes be the difference between getting exercise or not. The Big Pine Paiute Tribe turned an old casino building into a fitness gym, providing a welcoming and inspiring location to create community by encouraging each other through classes and workshops. Cerro Coso Community College installed an indoor fitness gym at their Bishop campus for staff and students to use between classes and is used by instructors in their courses as well. Changing the environment with gardens and paths helps make a healthy community, but policy is the cornerstone to creating long-lasting change. Policy helps guide how decisions are made and builds the opportunity for education and conversation. With tobacco policy, our first step was to promote traditional tobacco and educate on the harm of commercial tobacco. We hosted a series of trainings to educate staff and provide education. Our second step was to create a policy for a tobacco-free Toyabe campus. Our smoke-free policy encourages our patients and employees to quit smoking and supports everyone in their individual efforts to quit. With healthy food policy, we meet on a regular basis with members of regional tribes to advance the mission of the Eastern Sierra Tribal Food Coalition to help implement a vibrant local food system that enhances the health of all residents, protects the earth, increases economic vitality, expands social connectedness, and improves food security. The Food Coalition is focused on developing a local food system and working with each tribe to create their own policy around increasing local food production, securing healthy local food for everyone. We have joined forces with both the Big Pine Paiute Tribe and Bishop Paiute Tribe to increase the access and community engagement around local growers and local food. One strategy for building our local food system and increasing local food growth is by expanding farmers markets. These tribal markets show the benefits of growing healthy food by creating opportunities for farmers, a place for them to sell what they grow, receive an income, and possibly launch a future career. Farmers markets also provide a connection to place for a community to learn where their food comes from and how it is grown. We hope to expand our local food system to include a market stand at our Toyabe clinics, start a green prescription program, broaden participation by promoting the acceptance of benefits like CalFresh and WIC, and support other communities to organize a market in their town. We are working towards being a more healthy community and seeing our dreams come together with strong partnerships and focus on education and action. Our community wellness program is helping to make our Eastern Sierra communities be more positive, healthy, and vibrant places to live.